They worked. They were always on time. They were never late. They never spoke back. When they were insulted, they worked. They never took days off that were not on the calendar. They never went on strike without permission. They worked 10 days a week and were only paid for five. They worked. They worked. They worked. And they died. They died broke. They died owing. They died never knowing what the front entrance of the First National City Bank looks like. Juan, Miguel, Milagros, Olga, Manuel, all died today and will die again tomorrow, passing their bill collectors on to the next of kin. All died waiting for the Garden of Eden to open up again under a new management. All died dreaming about America, waking up in the middle of the night screaming, Mira, Mira, your name is on the winning lottery ticket for $100,000. All died hating the grocery stores that sold them make-believe steak and bulletproof rice and beans. All died waiting, dreaming, and hating. Dead Puerto Ricans, who never knew they were Puerto Ricans, who never took a coffee break from the Ten Commandments to kill, kill, kill the landlords of their cracked skulls and communicate with their Latino souls. Juan, Miguel, Milagros, Olga, Manuel, from the nervous breakdown streets where the mice live like millionaires and the people do not live at all, are dead and were never alive. Juan died waiting for his number to hit. Miguel died waiting for the welfare check to come and go and come again. Milagros died waiting for her ten children to grow up and work so she could quit working. Olga died waiting for a five dollar raise. Manuel died waiting for his supervisor to drop dead so he could get a promotion. It's a long ride from Spanish Harlem to Long Island Cemetery where they were buried. First the train, and then the bus, and the cold cuts for lunch, and the flowers that will be stolen when visiting hours are over. is very expensive is very expensive, but they understand, their parents understood, is a long non-profit ride from Spanish Harlem to Long Island Cemetery. Juan, Miguel, Milagros, Olga, Manuel, all died yesterday today, and will die again tomorrow, dreaming, dreaming about Queens, clean-cut lily white neighborhood, Puerto rican scene, $30,000 home, the first spicks on the block. Proud to belong to a community of gringos who want them lynched. Proud to be a long distance away from the sacred phrase, Que pasa? These dreams, these empty dreams, from the make-believe bedrooms their parents left them, are the after-effects of television programs about the ideal white American family with black maids and Latino janitors who are all well-trained to make everybody and their bill collectors laugh at them and the people they represent. Juan died dreaming about a new car. Miguel died dreaming about new anti-poverty programs. Milagros died dreaming about a trip to Puerto Rico. Olga died dreaming about real jewelry. Manuel died dreaming about the Irish sweepstakes. They all died like a hero sandwich dies in the garment district at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. Social security number to ashes, union dues to dust. They knew they were born to weep and keep the morticians employed as long as they pledge allegiance to the flag that once them destroyed. They saw their names listed in the telephone directory of destruction. They were trained to turn the other cheek by newspapers that misspelled, mispronounced, and misunderstood their names and celebrated when death came and stole their final laundry ticket. They were born dead and they died dead. It's time to visit Sister Lopez again, the number one healer and fortune card dealer in Spanish Harlem. She can communicate with her late relatives for a reasonable fee. Good news is guaranteed. Rise table, rise table. Death is not dumb and disabled. Those who love you want to know the correct number to play. Let them know this right away. Rise table, rise table. Death is not dumb and disabled. Now that your problems are over and the world is off your shoulders, help those you who left you behind find financial peace of mind. Rise table, rise table. Death is not dumb and disabled. If the right number we hit, all our problems will split 
and we will visit your grave on every legal holiday. Those who love you want to know the correct number to play. Let them know this right away. We know your spirit is able, death is not dumb and disabled. Rise table, rise table. Juan, Miguel, Milagros, Olga, Manuel, all died yesterday, today, and will die again tomorrow. Hating, fighting, and stealing. Broken windows from each other, practicing a religion without a roof. The Old Testament, the New Testament, according to the gospel of all internal revenue, the judge and jury and executioner, protector and eternal bill collector. Secondhand shit for sale, learn how to say como esta usted, and you will make a fortune. They are dead, they are dead, and will not return from the dead until they stop neglecting the art of their dialogue for broken English lessons to impress their Mr. Goldsteins who keep them employed as Lava Platos porters, messenger boys, factory workers, maid, stock clerks, shipping clerks, assistant, mail room assistant, assistant, assistant to the assistant's assistant, assistant Lava Platos and automatic artificial smiling doormen for the lowest wages of the ages and rages when you demand a raise because it's against company policy to promote spix spix spix. Juan died hitting Miguel because Miguel's used car was in better running condition than his used car. Miguel died hitting Milagros because Milagros had a color television set and he could not afford one yet. Milagros died hating Olga because Olga made five dollars more on the job. Olga died hating Manuel because Manuel had hit the numbers more times than she had hit the numbers. Manuel died hating all of them, Juan, Miguel, Milagros, and Olga because they all spoke broken English more fluently than he did. And now they are all together in the main lobby of the void, addicted to silence, off limits to the wind, confined to worm supremacy in Long Island Cemetery. This is the groovy hereafter. The Protestant collection box was talking so loud and proud about here lies Juan, here lies Miguel, here lies Milagros, here lies Olga, here lies Manuel, who died yesterday, today, and will die again tomorrow. Always broke, always owing, never knowing that they are beautiful people, never knowing the geography of their complexion. Puerto Rico is a beautiful place. Puerto Ricanos are a beautiful race. If only they had turned off the television and tuned into their own imaginations. If only they had used the white supremacy bibles for toilet paper purpose and make their Latino souls the only religion of their race. If only they had returned to the definition of the sun after the first mental snowstorm on the summer of their senses. If only they had kept their eyes open at the funeral of their fellow employees who came to this country to make a fortune and were buried without underwears. Juan, Miguel, Milagros, Olga, Manuel will right now be their own thing. Where beautiful people sing and dance and work together. Where the wind is a stranger to miserable weather conditions, where you do not need a dictionary to communicate with your people. Aquí se habla español all the time. Aquí you salute your flag first. Aquí there are no doll sub commercials. Aquí everybody smells good. Aquí TV dinners do not have a future. Aquí the men and women admire desire and never get tired of each other. Aquí que paso power is what's happening. A key to be called Negrito means to be called love.